Hey guys, Navi here. So today is going to be my first video on YouTube and it's going to be a hobby haul. So mainly it's going to be just model kits and I'll make a separate video for the figures. So I have a lot of them now because it's supposed to be a video after New Year's but I haven't got the time to do it. It's gotten pretty busy because of college. So now it's the time that I can make a video out of it. So first are the 1-100s. I might not include the uh, hybrids because I might sell them to be honest. So first is the full mechanics. Oh shit. I really like the anime but I heard the model kit is okay but it gets loose over time but I but they recently made a metal build for it a metal inner frame for full mechanics aerial so I'm going to pick that up soon next is the full mechanics calamity Gundam as you can see I bought an SM so yeah this year kind of rushed buying all of the seed kits because of the movie seed freedom which is already out from the cinemas now and I just watch it on some sites mm -hmm. so of course I got the other full mechanics with the forbidden Gundam and force the Raider Gundam so we had the hmm the druggy team <laughs> so they are really cool so I heard that they are a really good they are really good kids just a bit brittle Whoa! just a bit brittle on the V fins but that's normal I can't wait to build them I already built the Calamity but I'm still waiting for the decals so let's see it could be my first video on a review so of course I got the Master Grade Ale Strike. This is the start of the rush buying the seed kits. Next is the Aegis Gundam. The Dual Gundam Assault Shroud. The Blitz Gundam. And the Buster Gundam so these are really old now but I've got I got them for really cheap I got them almost for their original price when they were really sold it's really good it's just the shipping is scary on Shopee and one of the last Bandai one Master Gates the Justice Gundam I already built the Justice and the Providence so wait for the review and the Freedom is still on my whip, still on my work in progress because I also bought a metal frame for them, all of them. Lastly from the Master Grade Bandai kits is going to be the, the Strike E IWS Feedback. Yeah, this is really old but still good. Sadly, no metal inner frame from it, so it's fine. So next is going to be the third-party kits. So you've seen the Ale Strike, Master Grade Ale Strike before. So I also bought these kits. So yeah, this is this kind of an, an unknown brand, but I thought it's Dragon Momoko, but I'm not sure. So 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 this is so these are the Sword Strike and the Launcher Strike. So so I want to build so I can make the perfect strike. Because this is based on the Dragon Momoko kits, because the design and the instructions are basically the same kit. 
from Dragon Monaco. So the Bandai MG Strike it's okay but it can't handle when on perfect strike but the Dragon Momoko can handle it but I'm still trying to find the metal frame for it so I want the the Ale Strike as the Bandai and the accessories as the Dragon Momoko because they look more better for my opinion I like the edgy edginess of it <laughs> So next, I've got another seed boy. The, oh gosh, the Destiny. So this is by the band. You already know who the band is. One of the famous third-party kits who usually just copy paste Bandai kits, but now they copy paste. Metal bit kits now. Except for this, they kind of they kind of changed the wing a bit. It's more thicker, and they added the Positron cannon from the Astray Blue Frame. I don't know why, but it's a good option. I guess. So another kind of so here's. A really rare kit now. The I forgot this is 144 scale, but yeah, it's fine. This is the Harut Gundam for I mean from Hobby Star. This is really old now, but they recently re-released it. Also went sold out so quick. Good thing I got one for just 1,000 pesos. <laughs> Speaking of rare kits, I can't believe I found these two kits. It's ex it's really expensive now, but yeah, it's okay. It's really rare. It's really good. First is the Dragon Momoko Astray Blue Frame Third. I got it for half of the price. Half of the price. They are selling it now, almost like 7k. I bought it for five, 4k. So it's really good. Next is Dragon Momoko Akatsuki. The Hido Washi pack and then the Shiranui pack. I kind of messed up with this one because they recently released re-released it with the ATH brand so it's more cheaper it's like two five or three five pesos with us of pesos and I bought this for four five four thousand five hundred uh yeah I rushed too much but at least this is really rare the box still has the dragon Momoko logo it's kind of fine I kind of want to buy another one so both packs are deployed so let's see I also have another uh, copy paste kit I don't know what brand it, this is. I, we thought hey, it's Dragon Momoko, but yeah, we don't know. But it, this is the Double Zeta Gundam, the Burka. Uh, I got this because it has the enhanced version, the enhanced armor, which is P Bandai. But the Bandai Burka one is. It's really good but it just doesn't have the enhanced version and the only problem with this kit is it's just really tight like scarily really tight so it's fine I can I can improve it so 
So lastly, one of my third party kits I bought for Gundam is I bought two two Dynamis ones so I can make two versions, of course. So first, I don't know if I'm going to use this. This is the metal frame for it. I don't know if I'm going to use this on uh, on the Daban kits or the Bandai kits, which I still don't have a Bandai Dynamis or any of the Gundam Meisters. So it's fine because I'm going to make. So my first project on the Dynamis is the Dynamis Repair 4. Sadly, this is the second best option you can buy an upgrade kit for because it's the SJ model, not the Susan model. Susan model is more like it's more like a Bandai kit now. And it doesn't have any problems. This has a lot of problems. First is the metallic one. The metallic gold parts. They if you cut them, they're not undergated. So you're gonna leave a mark. And lastly the problem is the shields. The sub arms are kinda loose. If you've seen the reviews of the the, the one Chinese YouTuber that reviews third party kits. No. The Susan model one was perfect and it has extra two shields. Two you can have four. And lastly for the third party Gundam kits, it's just an upgrade for the Dynamis. Yeah, there's no branding or anything, but this is the XX model. So it's just a more detailed version of the Dynamis' armor. I really like it. They also made a repair for. Hope I'm hoping that I can still buy one. New Hub still has it, I think. But let's see. That's that's really cool. So next. Next, lastly, for this haul, if you're following my TikTok or Instagram, is I love Mecha Musume kits, Mecha girls, either kits or figures, anything. I love it. Even though I don't know the. Ah, well, well most of them doesn't have a series, so it's okay. So, first, this is a really new one. A new new series and a new company that we've never seen before so this is PR Productions Project Kari Kari Sazanami so it has two bodies I think so yeah the unarmored and the armored version yeah this is really cool it's still sealed then yeah? still from what I've heard it's really good kit so let's see. <clears throat> so the second one is one of is one of my favorite artists and it's from Huke. The artist that made Black Rock Shooter and Steins Gate. And they're actually now uh, animating the new Ruby anime. So next I also have this. Oh my god! The MS General Greed, the special color version that is like all blue, all clear, all blue and clear blue. Oh boy. This is probably the last one, but I'll show you later why <laughs> and it's the big one kind of a new company but not really <laughs> this is the ms general gluttony uh one tenth scale 
uh, when it comes to my kids. They're not the... Mm, there are only a few kids and only a few want to scale Mecha Musume kids and figure such and I'll show you why this is the only three so this is my other Mecha Musume kids from the hall it's stacked so high now So that's why I can't show it. It's just too scary to move. It's also part of the hall, okay? The Stargazer from Supreme Evolution. Probably got them probably from Supernova. And this is also a sneak peek for the next haul. So that's it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more. And see you guys in the next video. Probably a, uh, probably another haul, but the figure haul now. Probably a new, probably another haul, most likely a figure haul, and then a tummy haul, and then I'll make a room tour, so you'll see how much we have in this room, <laughs> in my room. So peace. So see you guys.